everything except the jungle locked in. Yeah. And, and that's the real question, you know, is he going to actually play the Sin with what looks like a heavy scaling comp already by FTX? Uh, I think both teams are thinking about like Kindred, Trundle, those kind of uh, mind games, right? But I don't think they're going to pick Trundle kind of champion. Yeah, they're he locked definitely it in. picking in Nidalee and Graves in the jungle. And Yagao picked Corky, by the way. <laughs> this guy. Look at this guy. He yeah. really wanted that 600k dollars. Yeah, he did. He, like, uh, <laughs> I, you know, I, honestly, I, I don't blame them. There's like, uh, we, don't, we cannot. Yeah. They, they are professional players, you know? Of course. I, I would definitely do the same, by the way. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. I will. Okay. You play. You pick up the Tom Kents for your teammates. Maybe I suggest something else. Like, hey yeah. guys, maybe uh, we can earn money at the same time with like promoting our skins. You know? Ha yeah. <laughs> and, and like, haha, guys, chill down. It's joke. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no way. I'm yeah. playing TK. <laughs> yeah. TK all the way. Yeah. As uh, what I what did. A team player, and uh, so is Chris, apparently. He played a lot of aggressive supports in the yeah. group stage, and now he's like, well, he's been, uh, I don't know, the, the anger has been quelled. He's been, yeah. he's been calmed down, and he's just going to be gobbling up his teammates and saving them as this is pretty much the most disgusting scaling comp on the side of FPX. But guys, we are going to see what happens here in game number one of this best of five. Here we go. Back on the rift once again. I hope you uh, you had some caffeine yourself, while I did, and uh, <laughs> you got some rest after oh. your marathon yesterday. Yeah, actually, I, I didn't drink yet, by the way. Okay. So I might sleep during the game. Cause, That's fine. You know, yeah. uh, a lot of people <laughs> actually blame the LCK about how boring they are, but... Yesterday, I cast uh, all of their games, right? Yeah. And we had LPR versus uh, LPL 2. And it was also kind of boring. Yeah. Okay. You guys had that one game that was like, what? Uh, like 20 minutes, no kills? Yeah. Oh, it's, man. It's not I was only at LCK. Home falling asleep. Yeah, it's not only <laughs> LCK, it's also LPL. And look at their picks. I know. Cast the mid and Corky in 2020. And look at way. this guy. Ooh. So smart. Yeah. Like, Zoom is like, Nah, we are LP here, bro. There is no oh. mid. Co <laughs> okay. Zoom's like chasing him. He's like, wait, <laughs> come back. Wait. Where are you going? <laughs> I, I love this, by the way. So the top laners are playing mid lanes. And by the way, both Virus has exact same. No, actually not. Uh, LW Axe has Ooh. Gathering Storm. Yeah. And this Loken guy has Scorch. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, LS made a fan today. Uh -huh. Or LWX made a fan of LS today. <laughs> he's the one that did pick up the Gathering Storm. Yeah. I'm actually a big fan of Gathering Storm too. Yeah. Especially in this kind of huge international tournament and its semifinals, I would definitely pick Gathering Storm. Yeah, uh, it just makes sense. I mean, especially when you look at your comp on the side of L LWX, you're like, okay, well, you know, it's not like we're going to be doing too much early on. As, uh, yeah, as you did mention, that's the only difference in the runes. It's only Gathering Storm versus Scorch. Yeah. And also, they swap the lane uh, between mid and top, right? And this is kind of already good for FPX, in my opinion, because let's say Renekton is on the top side, then it will be way easier for Nidalee to get a kill, right? Because top lane is longer than mid lane. Yeah. But right now, Renekton and Orn is on the mid lane, so I don't see any chance the Khan is getting like ganked by Renekton and getting killed by Nidalee, you know? This is yeah. one of the setups that you can actually grow up Nidalee and let him farm the champions. And maybe he's farming oh, full lane. Oh, that spear was massive. Can he get on top of Crisp here? I think he should Pop be able the to. The Guardian is down in just a couple of autos, and they're diving already. Double kill goes the way of Kanavi. Already here at three and a half minutes, shutting down the scaling composition. Uh, Zoom is just going to flash away from this one, not going to take any risks. He knows the bottom lane, his, his team is already winning by so much. Yeah, and JDG is all about Kanavi winning all the game. 
and also especially when he's playing Nidalee. He got the double kill, by the way, with the first blood. Yeah. This is one of the uh, disaster moments, uh, like top 10, and it would be like top number one, yeah. I would say. This is like the YouTube video, you know, yeah. top 10 disaster clips. Yep. Nice hook to start here by the map, I think. Yep. Really great combo, and they were stomping my Kubi too easily, even though they're playing against Kamin Barris. Also, that was clean dive by the LPL champion 2020. <laughs> we're gonna start your first game off one with a nice pause. Yeah, I mean, is it <laughs> off or on? Because like it's always me that yeah. if I'm like casting or like <laughs> analyst asking or even. Uh, when I'm when I was doing a uh, Korean commentary thingy yeah. with Caster Song, it got delayed so much time, so we like yep. spent twelve hours in the venue. I I remember, I was. Gamers that yeah. want to uh, access other regions. Yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're just gonna be sitting here while we wait for the ping issue to die down. This is this is one of those issues where you don't know if it's gonna take like three minutes or thirty minutes. You know, or <laughs> three hours. Three by hours. The way. I mean, it's China. True. It's a LPL. Mm. It's really it's close but far at the same time because of the uh, COVID-19 issue. So, yeah, uh, we don't know, but let's hope for the best. Yeah. Because uh, I spent like 12, more, more than 12 hours. Ooh, so. why did we have some good news? Oh, really? It's going to be the three minute issue, not the 30 minute issue, not the three oh, hour issue. Thank you. We are going to be resuming into the game here yeah, in listen. just a moment. There we go. I was looking at Kanavi, who was looking a little bit, you know, antsy. He's like, I, I just got this double kill. I wanna, I wanna play from here, you know. I, yeah. I wanna get into the game already. Uh, yeah, I think Kanavi is already having a great time. But Tian, I mean, he's just farming. But we saw that the farming power is just really strong as a grace when we watched the DRX games, right? Toshik was literally farming for uh, 30 minutes and he just won the game by himself. So yeah. we don't know yet. So one thing that the game should be like really focused on is uh, can they actually 1v1 in their jungle? Who is going to invade enemy jungle and decide to get the vision control? But I think on the top side, actually, it's, nothing is going to happen and they're going to have 50-50 calm, peaceful time. Yeah. Uh, it is going to benefit the Corky, I suppose, here because he did pick up the call. So there's yep. going to be no pressure onto him. I mean, he's also going up against the Graves jungle. And I like what Tien did there, by the way. He oh. knew that after the back, yep. Navi would immediately go up to his Krugs. Yep. That's like a, a pretty common jungle path, you know, you want to pick up that extra XP. And so he went in, quickly stole the raids, got vision down, and then even 
hit the Scryer's Blue yeah. to, to spot them in Italy. So that gives even more safety to doing the up in the top lane. That is true. And yeah, it's happening. Kanavi is evading. And then Nericonis here, though, he gets the knock up. Kanavi may have gone a little bit too far. TP is coming in, though, from the Renekton. And they say, well, we don't quite have the damage to chase down Kanavi just yet. They're going to be swinging around here. Lots of offensive control wards so far. Smite available for both, but Kanavi is going to pick this one up. As it's it's really it's really all about the pressure. Yeah. So it's about rotating down to the bottom side, saying, "Hey, I'm back." By the way, with a uh, fiendish codex on top of a half-completed jungle item. Yeah, and also, it's not the same Varus anymore. Oh, and it's what's not going same. on up here? The solo kill up on the top, on the top side. Anymore. He's gonna try to TP away. Does Ooh. he get away? No, he does not. As Khan is going to interrupt his back. Can he chase after him? Yes, he can. The fire goes over the wall this game as uh, Khan is going to spare the blushes of his mid laner slash top laner doing B. It's actually Dezavu. I saw that moment yesterday too. Yaga yeah. tried to just escape with TP and he failed. Yeah. Oh man, it feels bad. But anyways, he solo killed doing B on the top side and it seems like MPN is just focusing on the Drake with the five man focus because Khan is keeping on the mid, and yeah, they secure the Drake, and this is fine, but I don't think JDG is caring that much about the Drake. I think they really care more about the header than this boring mountain first Drake. Yeah, that mountain I saw, I think it gave, what, four armor to Graves? He doesn't have any armor items just yet, of course. Oh, wait. That was really aggressive. Int yeah. moment. Yeah, that was an int say. moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. That was straight int. We can call it for what it is. I mean, yeah. that was pretty obvious. I think he just uh, got a little bit excited. He's like, hey, don't don't hit me. I'm gonna hit you back. <laughs> but uh, it's quirky and he has Valkyrie, yeah. so yeah. Definitely a mistake there by Doombi. Not the, the best start for him, although Khan will pick yeah. up the kill as, yeah, he's just going to flash away. You're talking about how they're, oh, going in, just getting that burst damage here as Kanavi takes the second tower hit, which is kind of unfortunate for him. But even after all that, Khan should be just fine. He's going for that Sunfire Cape first as I love this aggressive yeah. play out of Kanavi so far after the early start. Kanavi is already on, like, he's already on point. He knows how to do this, like, he knows. Ooh. But Pian knows how to smite. Yeah, That's the important part. The junglers with the smite. Jungle difference. Yeah. Smite difference. So, I mean, I still agree that Kanavi is doing really well with the, the pressure that he got. Oh, man, look at that damage. And he got the grump as well, by the way, <laughs> with the loot that's. Yeah, he did. Loot that's that crazy. Pop. And, uh,. Okay, Kanavi's just gonna stick around. I love what he's doing here. He's so far ahead of Tian HP. in items. He's just saying, I, I am in your face all yeah. game long. You, you can't jungle by yourself anymore. He can actually won't be two here, I think. Yeah, absolutely. He's gonna burst down to him. That fight is coming in as the red hit is also gonna get in there. Khan desperately trying to get that damage down yes, as no Kanavi is gonna get away. JDG are just pummeling FPX here in the early game, all thanks to this Nidalee jungle that is just rolling their faces. Yeah, after the uh, Hanabi's first Nidalee game, uh, most of the team just banned Nidalee away. But this is blind pick, so you can't ban it. Yeah. So just deal with it. So this is how you deal with the Hanabi's Nidalee. Just give three <laughs> kills. I mean, it sounds really easy, right? But uh, Nidalee is one of the uh, coin flip champion, it considered as coin flip champion, even in in the solo queue. But right now, and I feel like Kanavi Sinali is not a coin flip. It's always, always like a tail. Like a tail. Yeah. Or Heads head. up. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I think you might be right. Just, uh, I like the way that his team as well yeah. kind of made the bottom gank work. It was a uh, great community communication to enable that to happen. And Kanavi's just running Khan down. 
He's gonna hit him with the red buff, and he is absolutely dead. With the package, there's just no way for him to get away. Flash was down, even if he had Flash, and he's dead. As with the Rift Herald, we are just gonna push the top lane, and this is feeling like one of those really fast games here, wanted. Yeah? And it reminds me uh my most of the solo queue games. Yeah. <laughs> and Genji has enemy Yasuo. It is uh, official confirmed by Arrow Esports Twitter, by the way. Yeah. And uh, second, Top Esports has enemy team LeBlanc, right? And JDG has enemy teams Nidalee, because it's not happening in my team. Yeah, no, this never happens. Uh, it never happens. Usually, Middle East on my team die in the jungle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> zero on zero, behind in levels. Yeah. Or zero and one because they died to Krugs. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Just by themselves. Yeah, so right now, I mean, as you mentioned, how they support Kanavi <laughs> as a damage dealer is so insane. And look at the items already. Yeah, he already bought them. What he the already heck? bought a grill. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, I understand why this is so OP. Because it's not. I mean, I already mentioned in the uh, previous show in Korean that uh, even though it's two LPL teams fight, there is so many Koreans, so we don't need to feel bad about it. If True. you are a big fan of LCK or Korean. You know? So, I mean, it's still great to see uh, like good Korean imports are playing really great in the like uh, foreign teams, you know? And absolutely. Absolutely, Kanavi is the best player in JDG, I feel like. Yeah, and uh, I'd say currently he's he's beginning to make a name for himself as, you know, I don't want to get too overhyped just from one Italy game, but his <laughs> performance, yeah, it's, it's hard not to get hyped, but yeah. even his performance in the regular season and in the playoffs of the LPL, I mean, Kanavi is proving to be, at this point, probably the best Korean player in the LPL. And he's come over here to the Mid-Season Cup, and he's doing just that once again. It's the Ornold. Oh. He's going to come down. It hits all three, but CP coming in. Kanavi could consider to go on to Crisp here. Nobody's going to help him. Look at Tian. He's like, no, you're dead, dude. I'm running away from you. He's not actually going to pick up the kill, but... Kanavi with his aggression, he's never laying his foot off the gas pedal. Yeah. Well, Mao is going in. Way. We're going oh, in. Man. Blue bounces. <laughs> See you later, buddy. That's going to be the second time he owned that Varus's life here in this game. Uh, so, man. Han is getting in there. Oh, there's, there's, but there's nothing they can do. Yeah, I mean, it just feels like one team has so many challengers and like because of the uh, matchmaking issue, you know? Yeah. And I just feel like JDG <laughs> is just having fun. And also how they play in the this kind of huge tournament and they spent so many times and it must be really hard for them to uh, deal with this kind of schedule. But like, look at how they play in the first game. They're just stomping FPX left and right and up and down. Yeah. Maybe they still feel warmed up from yesterday. Oh yeah. Maybe that's it. Oh. FPX had too much of a break. Yep. And they're like, you know, they're taking it a little bit slow. JDG's is just like ready to go right away. <laughs> they hot, you know, maybe they just slept in the studio. Like, okay, let's just go once again. They're up more than seven thousand gold, guys, at thirteen minutes. Look at Lil Mao, by the way. He hooked and used the play to hit Kanavi's spear. This is just way too clean. One of the textbook to how to play Nidalee and Thresh, yeah. or how to play jungle and support as a duo. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, this, this is just perfect. I mean, I just want to spotlight again that, like, how they uh, make this happen is they just know so well and uh, know how to use their lane pressure to uh, give it to, to their jungler, you know? So... It looks easy, but it's always really hard to use your lane prior and lane pressure to into the uh, other benefits like uh, getting enemy camps or getting some objectives. But JDG is just doing really great on that job. Yeah, I mean they're they're just smurfing on them right now. I yeah. mean this game is not even close. I, I don't know if there is a chance for FPX to make it back. Remember, guys, uh, they do have this really 
crazy scaling draft yeah. with the Cassidy, the Morris, Graves with the Orn, and Tom Kent to protect them all. And in the LCK, sometimes we'll see this happen where a team, well, I'm going to have to hold that thought. They're just diving yeah, into it. Okay, they got the spear oh, down. Man. He's dead. I mean, this Italy <laughs> is just disgusting. He's six kills now. <laughs> I mean, I, I just saw it. Yagao is like, nah, I'm not getting those kills. Hello, my brother. <laughs> Kanavi, just go in, take it, and devour it. Yeah. It's like, everyone is so ready. And if FPX had Doin B to set up those kind of uh, all use how to use all the advantage, they have Kanavi. And he's doing really great on that job. Like, he just got six kills and didn't die yet. While Tian is just farming and doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And there's there's nobody on the side really of FPX that Not have really. enough money or the ability. Even if they had the money or they wanted to spend their money on MR, they can't because they just fall too far behind. So yeah. he's just gonna go machine probably straight into Lich Bane. Like he's got sword pen. He's doing already insane amounts of damage. Yeah. And it, it, you know the spear it, it got buffed on a recent patch. You know it's got extra AP ratio. I think by an extra point two once again which is a, a really nice buff for yeah. Italy. And especially if you get ahead, <laughs> that scaling just makes it even more obnoxious. As we're going to take a look at, once again, this play. Great package by Yagao as well. And also Loka's Varsal team is hit it perfectly. Yeah. And yeah, let's spotlight again that uh, Loka is actually doing a really great job of heal and scorch virus. This is not the same virus at all. Yeah. Uh, since like minute three or something, I guess. And yeah, I mean, I said if I'm doing the this kind of huge international tournament, I'm picking like gathering some and TP for the vacation. But Lokan is like, nah, you guys are so boring. <laughs> I'm picking heal and fight. scorch. Yeah. We want to fight. Exactly. We want only prior, only pressure with those kind of 10 extra damage. But he's actually doing it, so. It's worth. It's worth at all. Like, yeah, you can definitely pick Scorch and Hill if you can do this like kind of snowball. Yeah, which is why you know sometimes we say, hey, Gathering Storm is almost always better. But like, if you're playing solo queue, there are a lot of yeah. cases where you know Scorch Heal would probably be better and stuff like that. And, and certainly in this case, they they knew they wanted to fight early. They wanted to get Kanavi snowballs, and they have to. Oh man, they have the close. <laughs> Between the minions, by the way, and also they have three men poking on the turret. Korg is shooting uh. missile, <laughs> and Varus is also shooting missiles. But Kanavi is shooting nukes. Yeah, it's nuke. It's like torpedoes. Yes. and missiles coming from it's just every crazy, different direction. Man. Oh, man. I would definitely not. Uh, willing to play this game even from a PX side. Yeah. Like, it, there is so many pokes. In this case, it's if this was solo queue, this would probably be one of those few 15-minute surrenders. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad Riot made 15 minutes FF. For cases like this. But <laughs> this is tournament again. Uh -huh. And this is one of the games that uh, you have to do. And it's not over yet. I mean... It feels kind of really over for FPX for this game, but it's F, uh, it's BO5, so they can still do something and show that we are not over yet, we are not done yet, because they still have level 16 Cassidy Power Spike and Orn's 10 million items. Yeah. But I think they need extra, at least extra 20 minutes, and I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, I don't think JDG are going to allow them to have that chance. You know, they're, yeah. they're going to go for a push down here on the bottom side with Shirley, the, the second Rift Herald, that will be picked up. And I, what I wanted to say before about the LCK is that sometimes they'll pick aggressive drafts that just fall flat on their face, and that's why scaling drafts look so strong in the LCK. But <laughs> that is not the case here tonight. Yeah. Not, not in this first game. They've said, hey, Nidalee's actually the OP one. Bye-bye. Yeah, Tian doesn't exist game right now uh, up against Kanavi they are just like on different planes of existence in this one as they're just gonna go ahead TP mid and what it I, I think it's pretty safe to say that this game is just about over yeah I mean 
The way how? <laughs> like how? Oh, the man. dupes and missiles <laughs> as uh, someone clip it. Yeah. Ship it. <laughs> Oh my god, they're just cheering around and everyone is dying. By the way, it's not the ultimate. They're just randomly just landing some normal skills, by the way. Yeah, we're, we're at 20 minutes, 21 minutes. Uh, it's 14,000 gold difference. 14,000. That's crazy. That's, that's not... And TP, this is the last chance, I guess. And it is indeed last chance. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, yeah. It, it is. Oh, they okay. got Kanabi. They got a kill. They got a kill. The gal still Boy here B. though. Level 13. Doing some pretty decent damage. A really nice play there by Slowly. Lubao. But he has gotten himself into a little bit of trouble. He's actually going, by the way. It's not over. It's not oh, over. Oh, Logan! <laughs> He's going to die though. He uses his flash to okay. pick up the kill. But that does end up feeding the kill over to the side of doing me, so. Okay, now it's not 14,000, only 12,000 blood. Only I mean, 12. This game is still kind of over because I don't think they can clear out those minions that fast. Because they already lost two inims. Even though, like, they were really far ahead, it was great, great attempt by uh, FPX side, though. They got the shutdowns and they still have. Oh! But in fact, and in theory, he should not able to like get back. And I don't think Doibi can even reach to level 16 because there is so many minions, and it's not a tech speed virus with Luna, uh, Luna's right. So yeah. uh, I don't think there is uh, many kind of uh, way to uh, push the waves and clear out the waves. And if Jingdong Gaming can get a Nasher safely, then this game is. Like 99% over. Yeah. Um, this, is, yeah. this is one of those games where it's like, okay, uh, the scaling composition, you know, we have to mention it, right? Like, oh, okay, it gives some extra levels to Orn and Kasten, right? It gives the 1,000 gold shutdown to the Vars. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, we can say that. But is it going to mean anything at this point when they're still down 12,000 gold? Almost definitely not. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see, though, if J uh, Jindong can, you know, maybe make a couple mistakes. Maybe FPX can get another Miracle team Nash fight or a good TP or something like that. Nasher is gone, by the way. Oh, that's okay. Baron Nasher is going to be going down here. Or an ultimate will come from downtown. It's not going to hit anybody. As the spear will go wide. And LW Bucks is actually doing some nice damage. Not, not yeah? as much as Loken, but, you know. Not bad, not bad. He's still a Varus with some items here. As, by the but way, your base. Your, the minions. Man, the minions OP. Minions are OP. Today we, we learned, once again, never underestimate the minions. Yeah, and also two in is with the Nasher buff, and especially when you have poke composition, and you're ahead in, like, so much gold. Yeah. And Kanavi is just walking in through their base. <laughs> Doi B is level 14, by the way, so they at least need to s scale and wait for another five minutes at least. Yeah. The real question is, can JDG end the game? Uh, even from this massive... Okay, slowly poking by a Doi B. This is pretty good. Oh, but Zoom pretty in the good. Front is gonna get knocked up. Looking and he's pretty gonna good. go down. LWX will pick up the kill. All right. All right, all right. And with all the super minions coming in, you're going to pick up that extra gold and XP. You're going to sit back and farm up. That's why I was saying, you know, can they actually end the game? I think they need five minutes more. And I think FPX has actually huge chance to, like, make this comeback. Because it's Kasadin, level yeah. 16. <laughs> True. One of the symbol. And look at how Doi B is, like, keep poking. Uh, with the ultimate and E skills, and yeah, I mean that was one of the great uh, defense by level 14 Kasadin. Yeah, it's pretty big. As we take a look at the XP bar down in the bottom left, level 15 is hit. Yeah, and uh, me and both both in hits are respawning. And this is great that the JDG can only get the Cloud Drake Soul. Yeah, which true. means almost nothing. Almost nothing. Pretty much nothing yeah. in this one. I, there's there's no gigantic 
you know, ultimates that are going to be coming off cooldown really fast on the side of JDG. That you're really going to want, I suppose, some more missiles and stuff like that. Maybe even lock down more with Varus, but it's, it's not going to make as much of a difference as different Cloud Soul, or yeah. Dragon Soul, that is. As the inhibitors are going to go down once again, with Baron still here, 20 seconds. You can see that JDG would love to end the game here. They do not want to leave the two inhibitors, or the three inhibitors here, for just some free farm for FPX. It's, oh! Yeah. Tien is having a lot of Bullshit. trouble. There's the lockdown Please? again. The Merc Treads are going to help out quite a lot. Do it be moving forward. Nice knock up here by Khan. Can they actually pull off? The Miracle Defense is the question as Zoom is diving in deep. He's tanking up so much of that damage. Ah, uh, it's over. As in goes Kanavi as well. He is going to be surviving in this one. Nice try by FPX to put up a defense here with their supreme scaling composition. But it is not going to matter here at the end of the day. Game one is going to go the way of JDG in 26 minutes and a 6 and 0 Nidalee by, I think it was minute 13 in this one. Yeah. As they were just smurfing all over FPX in the blind pick. So they are fully charged with, the, with those caffeines, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, that was just. Uh, a storm, and this is why you just pick Nidalee to Kanavi, and this is why you ban Nidalee against Zingdom Gaming. Yeah, Nidalee is not going to see the rift again. Yeah, no, not yeah. After that one, there's I mean, no way. Yeah, and also I really liked uh, how they set up for Nidalee. You know, they, yeah. they everyone had the lane pressure, and everyone know how to land the skills. I mean, it sounds really, really stupid, but. You know, but like, it's a good point. Yeah, right? I mean, uh, uh, Luke Mao, like, did you see how he played and set up for Nidalee, right? Yeah. Like, his stretch was absolutely just deleting enemies Tom Kench, and yeah. I didn't even know that who is playing for FPX, you know, for some moment. So yeah. I really want to spotlight that stretch again as well, and for all sure. the players in uh, Jingle Game just play so much better than FPX. Yeah, and uh, as you mentioned, it really was the jungle and support synergy. You know, as much as Kanavi was doing so much for his team, yeah. so was Lumao. And everybody else on the Rift was kind of just supporting those two yeah. in their ultimate goal of getting Kanavi unbelievably fed to the point where he just shut down every single lane, basically. Yeah. He went top multiple times. <laughs> he followed Tian through the jungle. He's like, you're, you're not going to get away.